So now that you know that each STEM challenge comes with a STEM journal and a Once Upon a STEM story, I wanted to share with you all the other things that come in this Once Upon a STEM resource. So we recommend using a binder to keep all of your materials organized. And you'll see at the very beginning, we have added a table of contents page so that you know exactly what you're getting and where all of your materials are within your binder. I would also recommend that you use some sort of a tab to keep everything uh, organized so that you can just flip to the lesson that you want to go to. And for your convenience, we have included a suggested planning sheet so that you know exactly what to do um, on a five-day schedule. On the next page, you'll notice that we have the National Science Education Standards, and if any of the challenges met any of the standards, we've indicated that in the third column. So you have already seen the STEM story and the STEM journal. So today, I'd like to share with you a little bit about what we've included in the guide. So at the very beginning, you'll have a title page to print out to separate all of your STEM challenges. And then once you go into um, the guide, you're going to see the teacher guide for the challenge. And this is the roller coaster one. You'll see the challenge concept, what to do before the challenge. Then you will see what to do during the challenge and then after the challenge. So in every STEM journal, you might remember that we have all of the materials needed and that's completely aligned to the teacher guide as well. One of my favorite parts is the ask questions and assessing prior knowledge part. I know that's a struggle for a lot of us and those questions have been done for you. And so they give you suggestions on what to say, what to do and how you can access that prior knowledge. So the next piece is what to do during the challenge. So it takes you through every piece of the engineering design process and then what to do after the challenge. And it also comes with some extension activity ideas. I'd also like to point out that for every challenge we have suggested books. So for the roller coaster challenge, we have Curious George Roller Coaster and Roller Coaster by Marla Frazee. I like to store all of my masters in the binder. So I have uh, the vocabulary words right here, but you can also um, print them, laminate them, and then store them in there as well. The last piece is really important because it, sometimes it's hard to record data. So what we've done is we've just created a rubric where it's very simple. You just circle um, based on the categories of completion, reflection, neatness, and teamwork and there's the star system. We also have another option, which is um, the, the number system, which would be expanding, developing, and emerging. And so you can record that final score there, you can give any comments, and it's very simple for you to have data for science and STEM on your report cards.